Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are going to learn how to get the most frequent elements or words in a text or elements in a list or a dictionary. So we will learn how to use counter class from the collections library in Python. Also before that we learn how to use the count method and others to do this without using the counter uh, class. So this is what we're going to build. Enter text. If I paste in the text here, which is from a, um, a story, like here, this is a story. If I press enter, it says number of most frequent words. Let's say I want the first eight frequent words and press enter. And I get the words one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are the most frequent words, and this is their count, as you can see. Awesome. So we are going to learn how to do this. Now for that, I'm going to use, well, REPL, REPLIT as my IDE. I've created a REPL for Python, and this is what we have. I've also put in a text here for my files, excerpt the text, which is basically just a piece of that story that you just saw. So we are going to read this file as well. Now, Let's start from the basics. Let's say we have a string named word, and that string is something like commando. If I want to know how many times O has been re repeated in this string, simply I can print um, word.count. So I use the count method on that iterable on, on word and say, okay, I want to know how many times O has been used and control enter, or maybe you can also uh, click on here, then you get two, it means O has been used twice. I can do the same thing with a list. So let's say we have words and the words are just some animals like um, dogs, well, I say dog, and then cat, and then rat, and then dog again, and dog again, and then cat again, and then dog again. Okay, now how many times dog has been used or uh, in this list? We do the same thing that we did here. We can say words now dot count, and instead of O, I want to say dog. So we should get a three here, and you can see three. This two is for O. Okay, so this is also how we get these. But now we need lists instead of strings if we want to use um, it for texts. Let me see, show you what I mean. Let's say we have a sentence, something like this. This is a text and this is the rest. And then just this, this, something like that, so random. So this is a sentence that we have. I want to know how many times this has been used here. But let's see if I can use this method here. And I'm going to comment these out. I do not need those. So instead of uh, words, now we are going to use a sentence. And we're going to get this. So if I run this, I should get one, two, three, and four, and we get four. It works, good. But what if I want to get the frequency of all the words, like this, and then is, and then eh, how many times everything is repeated, uh, been used there? So I need a for loop for that. I should say for i in, now this is the tricky part, in sentence and what is i is i going to be this or is it going to be t because this is a string why did i do that this is a string so i would be t in this sentence not this so i cannot see how many times this has been used in this way let me further elaborate so if i say print um, sentence dot count i. So I want to count the i's in the sentence and then print them. Print them. 
So if I do that, I get eight, you see? This is every letter, like how many times T has been used, eight times, how many times H? And how do I know this? I can just print both of them and you'll see next to each other, maybe some, some space here would be good. And now you can see here, T, H, I, S, and then even space 11 times, but I don't want this. I want the word, how do I do this now? So for this, we need to turn this uh, string into a list. How do I do that? Let's just say sentence list equals, and the list is uh, going by the sentence, which is a string dot split method. So we are going to split this sentence using spaces. Wherever there is a space, cut it and put it as a independent element. Now, if I print sentence underscore list, and if I comment these out, if I print sentence list, I get a list of these words. You see, this is a text. Now, it's easier to do something I did here. So instead of printing this, let me uncomment them and sentence underscore list. Now for I, that is I in this list, I wanna print the I and the count of I, the count of this. Now let's see what we get. So we get this has been used four times, is six times, good. But if we go down, we see, oh, again, this four times, but we had it. Again, we had it. Why is it repeated? We don't want this. We only want this to be shown four times. That's it. I don't want all the instances. So lists, ah, they don't work here. We need to do something else to get rid of these duplicates. We use a dictionary now. So let's say sentence underscore dict for dictionary empty. It's going to be an empty dictionary and we are going to add these elements to the dictionary and then automatically it will eliminate the duplicate ones. That's great. How do we do this? So here I would say I want to add to dictionary. How do I do that? Well, we would say sentence underscore dict. I remember a dictionary is a collection of key value pairs or something like this. So for example, this would be, I don't know, this and value would be four, something like this, with a colon in between. So now we are going to say dot update, update the dictionary, and add, well, dictionary, i colon, and the number of counts here. So now we have these entries in our dictionary, would be the word i, that is this, and then the number of it as the value. And then if I go further down, and if I just print this, and let's see what we get. Let's see, if I print this, we get this. Four times is six times, and you see there is no duplicates. Awesome, that is great. But the thing is, I want it to be ordered, not like four, six, two. I want it to be like six because this is the most frequent in the beginning and then four and then two and then one, something like that. How do I order this? Well, come this out. Here, let's have a sorted sentence. And we are going to sort this out. So we are going to use a sorted function in Python, which sorts like things, like lists, based on alphabet or numbers. This doesn't work with sentence list. So we need to say we want you to sort the items, dot items, parentheses, the items in the list, in the dictionary. Or was it? Dictionary actually, yeah. So, dict. So, we want to sort these. Now, if I print this sorted sentence, let's see what we get. It's very interesting. So, you see, 
it starts from the keys and put them into tuples. So it starts from the keys, which is a symbol, then A, the letter A, A, letter I, then letter T, T, T. So it's based on the keys and their alphabetical order. So that is a bit tricky now. I want the numbers to be the ones uh, determining the order, the numbers of the values, not the keys. So how do I do this? Now here, let's have another one down here. And this time, we do not just sort it like that. We say we want to uh, give it a function of a lambda. So we say key equals. So we are going to give it a key that is determine the order based on this key. Based on what? It's going to be a lambda item colon item one. So this basically means item is going to be equal to item index one. Remember, this is an item. This is item index zero, item index one. So we want this item one to be key to determining the order. So based on this item, order this, not based on this. Now, let's see here what happens if we just do this. So now we have interesting one. You see this was the old one, this is a new one. So we have one, then we have one, one, two, four, six. So it is ascending, that is from lowest to the highest. How can I, I re reverse this process? Just by adding a reversed to true. So this sorted give gets a list or a dictionary items. It can get a key and it can also get this argument reverse true. So it's going to reverse it that is based on the highest that is, is six times this four times a two times you see now we have it so we made a very simple frequency counter i'm going to comment this one out here and this one as well now let's style it a bit better so i can say for now i and j i will tell you what it means so for i and j remember this is I and this is J now, I, J, I, J. So now because you have two here. So for I and J in sorted sentence, I want to print, well, I first word, and then some styling, and then here, uh, J, like that. It's much better. Let's see, you see, it's, so we have it. Awesome. So that was how we could do this with a for loop. But we are going to learn to use um, the from collections library, which is a standard Python library. We are going to import counter with uppercase C, it's the class name, counter. So this is how we use this. We create a um, variable, we can call it whatever, counter equals, and we use the class name. And what is it that we are going to do a uh, counter with? We are going to use a sorted sentence, maybe. Uh, it, well, this is already sorted. So maybe we can just do this sentence. This is a text. Let's bring it down here so that we see it better. So we are going to apply this on the sentence. So let's just say sentence. And now we have the counter, so we have access to the methods. So we can print counter dot most underscore common. So this is a method that is available to us through counter now, and it gives us the most just like this. It's exactly the same thing. Now let's see. You can see here we have it space 11 times T, eight times S. This is based on a string. But as I said, we need to turn this string into a list. So 
let's do it like this. We say a sentence equals a sentence dot split. So now we have a list. And let's see what happens to that list is this. This is this is so cool. So now we have what we all did here in this lengthy way. We have it available. If I want the first three common words, I can just say three most common, and then it gives me the first three here. You see, this is an A. And I can use the same kind of a structure here as well. Instead of this, I can say, uh, get me this here and let's put it here and I'm going to get rid of this as well okay now it's the same thing that we just did you see this is a easy okay so this is the first three you can just say 10 whatever else now how about reading it from a file so I said we have a file here called excerpt.txt I want to see the most frequent words there so the way I do it now, I have to read the file first. So I say with open, I'm going to open that file. I can use the excerpt and the name. Then we're going to read it, so R mode. And the encoding of the text is UTF-8 for me. And I'm going to open it as F. So I have a video on file handling in Python, you can use it. And then let's say text equals F dot read. So we are going to read that file and the file is going to be text from now on. So if I print the text, you will see what it is. So here, oh, Mr. Colin, blah, blah. So this is the text. Okay, let me comment this out. Yeah. Now, what is this text is strings, by the way. So now, how do I apply this counter on this? So let's just copy this and let's say here counter equals uh, this text and then print uh, counter dot most underscore common the same thing that we did before but you are going to see something interesting now look this is just the letters the count of letters we don't want that Again, the same problem. We need to turn that text into a list. So text dot split, and now it should work. And now we have access to words. So now you see the 10 times of eight times was six times. If I want the first 10 common words, I can just do it here. And you can see these are the common ones here. Now, the last thing I want to point out is copying and pasting text, which you can do with the help of an input. So I can just say user equals input and let's say enter text. So now we have the text from the user. We should do something with it, just like we did here. So I'm going to do the process again. First, we need to put this user in, uh, let's say user equals. We're going to turn it into a list. And then we're going to pass it into a counter. And now we have access to, let's say the most frequent words. So if I comment all this, now if I say uh, run, so enter text. So I can say this, this is text is and is, this is text is, is something random. Now you can see I have is six times, this two times, and again, you can style it as just as we did with the for loop in a more beautiful way. And you can also mention how many times, how many common words do you want? Two or three, four here. So that was it for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please share, like, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and listening.